And the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil things. Proverbs 23 and 7 says, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So in other words, your heart will reveal itself through your actions. Now, if you want to locate a person's heart, find out where their treasure is. Hunch the person next to you and say, ain't no time to go to sleep. See, I'm close up on you and I'm coming in your face. Quickly go to the 10th chapter of Mark. Hallelujah. Some of y'all should have went to bed last night. What did I say? 10th chapter of Mark. Look at verse number, oh, let's see, 17. It says, and when he was uh, gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him, the person coming come to Jesus, asked him, good master, what shall I do that I may in inherit eternal life? Right. Jesus said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that's God. Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor thy father and thy mother. And he answered and said unto him, Master, all these have I observed from my youth. And Jesus beholding him or looking, him, looking at him and loved him and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and then thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and take up the cross and follow me. And he was sad at that saying, and went away grieved, because he had great possessions. Now this young guy, he comes to Jesus. This is a rich young ruler. Hey, what can I do to have, inherit this eternal life? Well, you know the commandments. And he said, hey, I've, I've done all that. Since I, hey, I was brought up there, I've done all of that. All right, so Jesus discerned, Jesus located him. All right, yeah, you, that's good. Well, that's one thing you lack. See, this is a good guy. For Jesus to say one thing you lack. Now, I wonder how many of us, Jesus could say, you know what? You just lacking one thing. That's another message. So now, but he went away sad. He couldn't do it. You see, the rich young ruler, he couldn't give where his heart was not at. That's not like Jesus told him to, to, you know, just give up your whole, give up all you want. All he said was, hey, go and, 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 and uh, 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 sell what you got and give it to the poor. Just sell what you have. See, when you're rich, you don't just have stuff. You got money, too. So he just said, hey, just, just you know, sell what you got and give to the poor. Now, let me, th so you can understand this. Jesus wasn't telling him, you know, sell what you got and then just go find the poor and all of this and that. Jesus more or less said, sell what you got and give to the poor. Give into the, the Jesus Christ evangelistic ministry or more or less, you see my treasurer, Judas, because we do take care of the poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. See, I, I have to say that because, you know, some folks could think he just said, just sell what you go and go find poor folks and just that, 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 ain't, that, that ain't how it works. I don't want to labor on that because that, that can take that too much time. You see, the reason people struggle with giving to God is because there are is not with God. Oh my. You see, if your heart is with God, it'll be with his church. In other words, your treasure would be with his church. You see, if your heart is with him, then you won't struggle when it comes to the giving. 
See, because you, you, that, you, your, your heart is going to be located by where your treasure is. You can tell folks who just, and, and, and I'm just throwing this out there. You can tell folks who just love hairstyles. I shouldn't have got with that one, actually, you know. Okay, okay, I don't want to get that. See, you, you, see where, where you can locate a person's heart where that treasure is. See, wherever your money is at the most, that's where your heart is. You know how you can do a quick, 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 quick checkup uh, uh, with your own self? Go, go, go through, go through your, 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 your cancel checks and your checks and all that. And just kind of compare how much was given to the kingdom and how much was given to... Y'all go home or you still here? Oh my. What doesn't touch the heart doesn't touch your purse. I knew a fellow who used to go here. His one outfit, it's not that his outfit cost that much. His one outfit caused more than what he gave the church all year. All year, one outfit. And the outfit might have cost, I don't know, a hundred and a half. Okay, we talked about tithes. Uh, we begin with tithes. Go to Malachi, the infamous Malachi. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Third chapter of Malachi. Now, I'm kind of giving you elementary stuff right now. This, this is elementary. Now, it's only difficult, if, you know, if your heart ain't really... Third chapter of Malachi, verse number six. It says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your father, you are gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me so I can return unto you, say the Lord of hosts. But you said, Where when shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet you've robbed me. But you say, How can we do that? In tithes. And the offerings. Now, we want to make sure that your Bible says what my Bible says. It does not say tithes or. See, there's a difference in the words and and or. Or gives you a choice. You know, you, you like cornflakes or rice krispies. That's a choice. But it doesn't say or. And means this and that. Yeah. One without the other. Yeah. 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 Come on back, oh, Jesus. But then verse 9, these are the consequences. You are cursed with a curse because you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. Prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. He shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time of the field, saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed. For you shall be a some land, saith the Lord of hosts. Now, for the most part, we all know what a tithe is. We know that tithe means one-tenth. Or it's the tenth portion or part. Amen. One tenth. Yes. Now I stress that because for years I think some folks thought tithe meant they, they, they understand ten, tenth, and for some reason they somehow thought tithe mean ten dollars. 
you know, I'm not laughing because, you know, everybody didn't finish first grade. Everybody didn't have.